The news right now is pretty clear. Stay home. But one, it feels not that convenient. And two, it's only fun for like a day. Why are we doing this? For people who are at high risk of complications for infection, social distancing rules help them protect themselves from potentially severe infections. But really for all of us, even those not at risk of complications, it's important for us to follow rules and tips about social distancing in order to protect our friends, families, and loved ones, and those who may be at risk of severe complications from infection. Okay, so keep your distance. How much distance are we really talking about here? Six feet of distance is recommended because COVID-19 is transmitted by respiratory droplets. Respiratory droplets, when we cough, typically travel an average distance of six feet or less. So by maintaining six feet of distance between ourselves and others, we can make sure that if someone does cough and doesn't properly cover their cough, that those respiratory droplets won't reach us and become a source of infection. Got it. So we all stay at least six feet away from each other and this all goes away, right? Social distancing has been recommended numerous times before. Early social distancing has been shown to be effective in slowing the spread of infectious diseases like COVID-19. Social distancing helps high-risk individuals by decreasing transmission of the virus. By separating ourselves physically, we can help prevent transmission from person to person and slow the spread of the disease. That is super encouraging. On that note, what can each of us do that helps stop the spread of COVID-19? Tips you can use for social distancing include things like avoiding crowds, avoiding any situation in which you can't maintain that six foot distance separation between yourself and others, limiting groups to 10 or fewer, so long as the six feet can be maintained, frequent hand washing, frequent cleaning of high touch surfaces, and staying home if you have a cough or fever are critical to help slow the spread of COVID-19. All of this sounds great, but I'm probably going to run out of some essentials eventually. Is there anything I can do to still protect myself and others while I'm out in public? If you still need to leave the house, you need to be very cognizant of everything you might be touching. Any high touch surfaces like doorknobs, door handles, shopping cart handles, countertops, bathroom sinks, after you touch these surfaces, you need to be very careful not to touch your face and to wash your hands with soap and water or to use hand sanitizer if soap and water are not available. I know that it can be difficult to follow the tips and rules for social distancing. If you're feeling stressed or cooped up at home, one of the best things you can do is just go out of your front door and take a walk in the neighborhood. So long as you maintain a six foot distance separation between your friends and neighbors, it can be a great way to de-stress.